Mm. Okay, Ooh. we're actually starting. Let's go. Time has come. Semi-final two is gonna start. Quick reminder, maybe uh, semi-final one. Afi and Carl Jr. managed to get through, so those are safe in the grand final already, and now it will be decided who will uh, accompany them in the next match. Okay, um, we have a warm up. Are we already live? We are already live, I think. Okay, yeah, there we go. We are live. I'm just gonna go with the um, uh, just gonna go with the map preview here because we have a longer warm up. But there you can see uh, the Za zigzag map from Zazimuth. And maybe you can tell us what the WR on this map is, Kanali. Yes, um, the WR on this track. Wait, this track is not in the campaign. <laughs> is it not? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Great. Fantastic. I think it's like a 118 or 170 uh, or something. Yeah, something around that. Yeah, that's fantastic. All right, we're going into the first round, actually. We are indeed live now. First round is uh, starting. Yeah, go ahead, take it over. All right, uh, start, nothing too special over here. Kappa with the best slide, but everybody is still close. We see different lines here in the dirt, actually. Some people are opting for a more inside line, other people go outside for more exit speed. But in the end, you saw Kappa was going for the inside line. It is pretty equal. It's just a personal preference. Now here to jump into the free will slide, not too easy. Then players can opt for a side jump here. Everybody is doing that because it really saves quite a bit. Then the entry into the uh, bobsleigh is quite important because you carry the exit speed all the way through the looping. You see Massa got it really nicely here. But the round is still close. The last one is only uh, 0.25 behind the first player. So it will probably depend on the identity here. So let's see uh, what is gonna happen here. Let's maybe follow the perspective of Peck here. He is not getting the first jump too well, but he still has a shot at jumping quite far down here. Actually getting overtaken by Kappa. Now this slide here is very important as well, because you carry a lot of exit speed. Let's see, Peck currently in last place, but he can maybe catch up with the last slide. We will see. It's a very close round, actually. Nobody's touching. Peck with good oh. speed! <gasps> oh, Peck sniping... <laughs> sniping Massa. And what a close first round. Holy moly. That's a oh very my. sick round. Players only 0.14 apart from each other. Oh my god. Oh, what was that round? That was already showing us where the journey is going. Massa got last and was 0.15 behind uh, um, Scrappy here. So that was very, very close pack. Almost sniping that first position there. Uh, not being too far behind as well because he had great exit speed. But only getting himself four points. So not the best start for the m, &M driver. Goes so close there yeah. to the barrier. Almost touches it. But look at the speed from pack here into round number two. We go, we play four rounds on each track. And this is round number two. There you can see the point repetition again. 10, 6, 4 and 3 for the respective positions. Point limit is 140 with finest mode enabled. So finest mode means that you uh, have to win one more round if you have surpassed the 140 point threshold. But let's focus on the rounds here. We are 40 seconds into the map and right now it is Peck leading the round. Scrappy with a different approach. Does not go for the outside line as Peck does. And look at this speed from Peck going into the lead. Great, great amount of speed for him accumulated. But now the identity, of course, coming up. It's very important to either catch your gear, I think, or just get the more direct line than Scrappy has done it. So Scrappy with more speed, but not the best approach in this part. So it's a neck and neck battle between the Lazarus player and Peck here. All in this last rift, Scrappy going a little bit more outside, but it's also him with more speed. This will be all in the last rift again. And Massa also the mix pack with a great line. Who's gonna take it? Massa pack or Scrappy? Ooh. It will be Massa barely finishing, but only on P3. Scrappy on second, and Pack takes home the first victory of this semi-final two for Eminem Gaming. Yeah, what a race here actually, and sick time by Pack point forty nine. We still don't know what the world uh, what the world record is, but I think like I'm very safe to say that that is a very sick time. So we are now going into the third round of this track. We see four rounds on each map as a quick reminder. So this is round three out of four, and currently Massa with the best start over here. Kappa already a bit behind. He didn't crash though, but uh, he already lost like point two to the others. But otherwise, still a very close round. Oh, Pack driving over the barrier. He still managed to save it, interesting, but he lost quite a bit to the lead, so winning this round will be a very tough challenge for him. But let's see, maybe with a godlike ending, he still has a shot. But otherwise, he definitely wants to stay ahead of Kappa, and look how Peck is actually getting closer! Strappy with a touch here, and now Peck is almost at Massa's uh, booty. <laughs> Absolutely insane how, <laughs> how Peck managed to catch up here. He is only point one behind Massa now, he is driving the round of his life apparently, and he definitely still has a shot of 
overtaking Massa. It depends on the identity. You will see. Oh, Massa clipping a bit, but he didn't lose a lot of time. Pack therefore with a better jump, also jumping a lot further here. Massa with a bit more exit speed, so it is still very close. Oh, yo, yo, now the jump into the slide. Massa getting it really yeah. nice. Pack almost touching because he got airtime from the downhill, and Kappa is also closing in. So, will where will Pack end up with? Can he overtake Kappa in the last jump? <gasps> no! Whoa! Oh, and Massa. Massa almost missed the finish. Pack oh. sadly got sniped by uh, Kappa here. So, but what an effort by Pack. He made a small mistake at the start, but he still caught up so much there. What is that scary ending from Massa all the time? He bounces off of the finish every, every round. But eventually now he has won it. So Massa actually has W on this track with a 117.15. Yes. <laughs> I also just, I just found it. <laughs> yeah, I just, just sent you the new thingy. It, so, I, uh, I checked the wrong one. But take a look at the, up to the points. That what we were predicting. 17, 19, 18 and 15 points. So four points between the top four here and only the first two players are going through let's go into the last round on zigzag this could also be the decider if it's map number six because we're gonna start with the cycle again because there are five maps in the map pool but let's just go ahead into this round we will claim the lead here actually can it be kappa um, with 25 points going into the lead or maybe scrappy extending his lead to 29 points right now it's looking really really good for him kappa with a mistake but doesn't really lose too much so he can still have a say if someone fails the ending but let's follow pack here for the last identity the last identity on zigzag and then we're gonna go to the next map pack with a lot of speed presses b for boost goes into the lead but of course wow. jumps very far in into this one so he loses a lot of speed so scrappy is closing in again <gasps> and also it is massa in the mix scrappy not with the best line there doesn't have the best amount of speed so we're between massa and the pack pack with the outside approach massa again with the very risky line there pack will oh. take it yes what a again. snipe what oh, a snipe man. by pack here oh my god the last slide was absolutely insane by him and we have another really sick winning time it's a point 61 it's not even half a second behind world record on such a difficult map like this point 61 would currently be seventh place in the world so absolutely sick time here by pack a great absolutely. effort by him overtaking and we are now going to the second map of the match so let's see what it will be I think slalom. I don't know. I have the feeling it's slalom. All right, I say um, turbo stairs. Ah, I think turbo stairs. Wait, is fun. no, it's slalom. <laughs> 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 Incredible, this turbo guy. <laughs> All right, so turbo we play stairs. slalom. Turbo stairs is always a ban for um for pack because he was really struggling on this one, I think. But yeah, there's the map preview right now. I don't think that you can see it on the Granadi POV, but that is what it is. We still have a little bit of warm-up before we're gonna go live. And yeah, right now the standings are very close actually. Kappa is in last, 18 points, Scrappy and Pack are leading, and also Massa is tying up with Scrappy, so actually uh, tie uh, second place uh, between Scrappy and Massa here. So very, very close uh, between all the players. Yeah, this, uh, the first round, uh, the first map already showed uh, on what equal level the players are. It's absolutely close. First and last place, only 10 points apart from each other. That's like nothing. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go into the first round on Slalom. Uh, yeah, very interesting map, not too easy. I would also say this one is more of a difficult map. And as the name already suggests, we have a lot of Slalom points. This is the first one here, rather basic, not a lot can happen here. Massa already a bit behind though, but it's only point one, so nothing too crazy. Therefore, Pack is still in the lead currently, battling with Scrappy. We're now approaching the dirt point where we will find the second slalom point of the map. Actually, Pack overtaking uh, Scrappy here. I don't know what happened there, but here is the second slalom point. Now, uh, reactor boost into the third slalom point. Uh, uphill here, very difficult to do. Um, but Pack getting it really well here. Absolutely insane. Now into the grass point, and after the grass point comes the identity already. Definitely the hardest part of the map, so let's see how Pack will do it. We have this 180 ice slide, it is very tricky. You can easily lose grip, but Pack getting it really well. Now the downhill, wow. you need to dodge all the obstacles. Pack is doing it well. Now don't hit the speakers on the right, and Pack is winning the first round, and everybody else actually crashed. <laughs> <laughs> what a time! 104.57. That is point three, point thirty four away from oh, WR. Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. Peck. I think Peck is angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is Dude, a very what a time. time. Oh, that yeah, is yeah, very, yeah. very fast. That concerning all the parts you mentioned, the zigzag, especially this uphill zigzag, the third zigzag, you can lose so much time by getting a wrong entry into the part or just jumping off of it. 
um, a lot. And also Massa not with the best gear management at the start, so he lost a little bit of time by the looks of it. I thought that he uh, steered a little bit too early, but he lost only a tiny tad. It's only five hundredths of a second, so pack up Scrappy leading again. And they are not leading in the total ranking because it's Massa who was overtaking Scrappy with his second place. But everyone was behind Pack. there. Pack was also very dominant in the Trackmania Grand League um, group stage on the six lapper. Maybe you remember, I think he won three out of three six lappers on this map. Yeah, he was right absolutely now, insane. But right now, Pack with a mistake. So first mistake from Pack here in this um, uh, in this match. And right now, he doesn't find himself in the top three fight. Scrappy, Massa, and Kappa will declare the 10-pointer under themselves. Of course, the identity still ma matters here. Scrappy does it good. Kappa with a rather safe approach, but gets a lot of speed over this part. But is it enough to overtake Massa and Scrappy? Right now, it's between Massa and Scrappy, but Scrappy with the best amount of speed in the ending. And he will eventually take that 10-pointer. And also a great time here. one of 4 50 54.8, also beating the time from a pack that he has set beforehand. But definitely a close round again, and Scrappy will take 10 points and goes into second place again. Yup, the times here that we see in the rounds are absolutely insane. Like 0.3 behind world record in a match situation where everybody is nervous. That is very impressive. So the times here are really sick. That is a very high level of Trickmania here. And we're now going into the third round of Slalom. So, start, nothing too special, but Massa is clipping. So, Massa is probably already out of this round since he, have, since he has no speed for the wall right. So, he's probably out, but otherwise, still a very close round. Pack currently in the lead, getting followed by Scrappy and Kappa. Now, the entry into the dirt section, you actually wanna drop your gear intentionally there. Everybody is making that. Now, the slalom onto the dirt, nothing's happening here either. Now, the speed up the hill is very important. Who will get the most speed? It is actually Pack, Pack getting it really well. So he will be the first one to approach the identity in this round, unless he chokes the grass, which we don't hope so. Nope, he's making it. So now let's see what the identity brings. Kappa is still very close and also Scrappy is still within reach, so let's see what happens here. Peck going very far up, but he still gets it well. Who will make it? Kappa or Peck? It's an absolutely close battle here. Who has having more speed? Peck has more speed! He is overtaking in the jump. And he wins another round here. Wow, I mean, there was this small counter steer from Pack to the right, which got him more speed, I think, because uh, um, Kappa couldn't accelerate that well there, but still a second place for Kappa, but this was decided by one steering movement, and you can see how unforgiving it is on ice. I mean, I've played a little bit of the icy spring campaign as well as Kanadi, but ice is really something that is really, really hard to do, and you can see why. Just one input, one different input, and you are falling down tremendously. So Pack eventually wins this round and with that also extends his lead since it was Kappa uh, who has gotten himself that second position. Right now it is uh, still Scrappy in second place overall also this round. Batting it up with uh, Scrappy but look at that. Massa with a great line but had to oversteer a little bit. Now here important to just get a low side. Don't oversteer in this part as well and as Granati said accumulate as much speed as possible over this upper but we have a close round here. Last round of Salom, it is Pack leading out of Massa. Massa with a late release here and also gets overtaken by Scrappy. Gets an inside line, but with that has not as much speed as Kappa and also as Scrappy. Who is gonna win this round? This is super close to call here. Massa with a good approach. Also, Pack does a really good. Kappa also in the mix. Kappa actually overtaking Massa here and Kappa will get himself another second place. But what a great round here. Scrappy has made that mistake. But point 50 between first and third position is a banger of a round. And it seems that Kappa has arrived in the match and Peck is walking away here and extends the seat yet again to 18 points already, Garnadi. Yeah, seems like uh, Peck is <laughs> has improved a lot on Slalom because he actually won three out of four rounds, didn't he? Like absolutely sick yep. performance by him on this track and he, as you just said, 18 points of a lead now, that is already quite a lot. So now let's see what the next map will bring. It will be the second new map. It is called Turbo Stairs, made by Deska. There we go. There you can see the um, presentation. Actually, unusual that we see this map. It was usually uh, Pack banning this map um, last week. But of course, he ca he maybe has put in some practice. We don't know. But there is the map preview. Also, one of the new maps from Deska, as uh, Kanadi was uh, pointing out beforehand. And there you can see the identity. Very important to touch the booster as early as possible and don't get yourself any airtime. So very tricky. And also for me, the map made the impression that it's... Yeah, how you can say that? It's rather slow, yeah, this map. 
it is a very slow paced map overall, as especially in comparison to other maps, but uh, this doesn't mean that the map is easy or something. This map still is very difficult, very technical. And uh, yeah, I would say we go into the first round here. So let's see what that one brings and how Pack is doing today on this trip. He gets the best start out of them all actually, never mind, he has less speed. <laughs> so it's very close overall. Now a tight slide to the right, now the important entry into this third part can be a bit tricky but everybody getting it well. Now another uphill right section before we enter the next dirt section over here. Pack actually going for a very interesting line here and that actually gains him quite a bit. He went to the uh, outside road part, the black one, in order to have a bit more grip for the entry and he actually gained a bit. Mm -hmm. Now this uphill left slide is very important, also this dirt entry, Pack getting it not too well. He, don't ha he doesn't have the best speed. So Kappa and Grappy catch up and they are within each other. Only Massa a bit behind. So now we are getting closer to the identity and that one will most likely decide the whole round. Who will go maybe for the Neo Slides strategy? Who will go for the No Slides? Everybody going for the Neo Slides! Oh my god, I did not expect that. Pack getting it really well, but so does Kappa. So who will get the last one better? It is actually Pack not getting it well. Can he at least secure second place? Yes, he can. That is good that he still got that. Kappa with a victory here, but Pack still with a solid second place. Yeah, and also Kappa with a great time here, 108.27, which is uh, roughly 0.55 away from WR. It, uh, the WR is actually occupied by Papoos, unfortunately mm. already eliminated of this tournament. And then the second WR is Note Peck. that down. <laughs> is Pack set one hour ago. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> Pack has really put in some practice on this map. It's not his pick, um, but. Um, Definitely a map that doesn't seem to be as bad for him as it used to be last week. So he has put in some practice into this one and has gotten himself a second position ahead of Massa, which was important. But look how close that is for P2 concerning the points. Also, Pack here getting himself the most outside line and also accelerates a little bit on the beam part on the black thingy, which is, of course, not a dirt in his normal tarmac or just a black uh, block uh, texture. So Pack had it really good and is extending his lead here and goes. Um, yeah, for a different line that is paying off eventually. So we have seen that in a lot of parts. Um, I remember after doing that on, I think it was Arctic Split or something, where he went for a different line. But now Pack goes into the identity first, clips it a bit, but still is leading. Kappa is closing in though, but again, a great line from Pack into the lead and gets it. Kappa is losing it here. So Massa is overtaking, but Pack with a great round here. A what a time! Point ninety-two eight. This is point one array of PAX PB or from PAX PB and with that PAX is absolutely dominating this match. Wow, what a time, man. What an instant time. Point two behind the current world record, as you just said, point one behind his personal best. And this would have been fifth in the world. No, uh, no other player in this match has a time better than that, except for Scrappy. But holy moly, what a time. So PAX apparently is very well prepared for this track. And we're now going into the third round. Everybody is making the start, also this time no mistake by Massa, who choked the previous two rounds. So we will maybe have a very good fight by everyone here. Now the entry into the dirt, everybody getting it very well. We see a few different lines, but doesn't matter too much. Now the special line by Pack that we saw, he's going onto the black. He didn't get it that well this time though, but he still catches up to Kappa. And he is in a fight with Massa as well, only Scrappy a bit behind at the moment. Now the speed up the hill is important. Pack is very good on technical maps, so he got that one very well. Entry into the dirt, also good, but... Kappa pretty much driving the exact same lines all the time, so they are pretty much equal to each other. And it will depend on the identity again. Pack is going for the new slide thread, which is a lot faster than just going for the no slides. So let's see how well he will get it this time. Oh, he is clipping a bit. Kappa is overtaking. Oh, not the best one again. Touching the CP. But where's Massa going? Massa going to nowhere and Pack will get a second place again. Pretty good round here by Kappa and Pack. Solid second place. Now going up to 83 points and having a very good lead to the others already. 21 yeah. points ahead of second and also the others are quite a bit away. So great to see that uh, Pack eventually got himself another um, second place, even though he got a wonky identity. But still with that, he's extending his lead and the others are just, uh, yeah, closing in. I mean, Kappa is at 62 points, so a good comeback overtaking both Massa and Scrappy. But of course, the point limit is 140. So the older player who's halfway through is Pack. 70 points is the half mark. And then of course, you still have to win in... Um, in uh, the finest mode, so you have to win one more round if you have reached that point threshold. So now Pack gets the line. He did get it last time because you want to yeah, anticipate your, your steering movement and your back of the car is just um, yeah, like uh, going into the right direction if you steer to the left. 
Um, so that's how it works. And uh, Peck does it um, yeah, quite well here, but uh, finds himself on second position before the identity. Now here also you can go for a sneaky no side threat to gain some extra kilometers per hour. Now the tag part before the identity. Small drifts here. Now the Neo side. Everyone is going for it. Kappa clips it. And also Ooh. Peck overtakes it, but fails the Neo slide here and falls down to that last position. So Scrappy and Massa overtaking him. But who's going to win this round? Is it Scrappy or Kappa? It is Kappa not sniping. Actually staying ahead here. I thought that Kappa had it, but Scrappy with more speed. So my camera was just a little bit off there. So Scrappy takes the 10 pointer that he was in need of and closes in to both Kappa and pack yeah kappa was actually doing really well here on this track as well so he managed to catch up a bit to pack as well but pack still with a solid lead of i think exactly 20 points so uh, still a very good position for him at the moment and but yeah we still have quite a long way to go until finalist mode pack still needs to gain uh 45 points so uh no 54 54 points <laughs> <laughs> quick maths yeah. and yeah the others need to gain even more so uh, yeah, we're now going on to Paradise, a uh, quite long map, also not too easy overall, uh, but yeah, very interesting map here, very punishing identity as well, which can shuffle the whole uh, yeah, round basically in the ending, so very exciting one over here. So yeah, I don't know, maybe you know how good or how well prepared Pack is on this certain track? Um, how he was so doing it's it seems that this was Pack's pick as well, oh, uh, because he was the first seeded player. Maybe he did that on purpose. I don't know, but um, Pack has a top three time on this one: 107.956. Then we have Kappa on second place, Massa on first, and you know who's on fourth? Scrappy. It is Scrappy. <laughs> the top four of uh, the top four in terms of world records here is the top four that we see over here. That is absolutely insane. So uh, we wow. can, uh, this is basically the top four players on this track are battling with each other. That is like absolutely perfect. So let's see uh, what the first round brings here. Um, Scrappy is a bit behind. It is, yeah, roughly 0.3, but the others are still fighting in the top. But to be honest, the map gets harder the further you go. So the first half of it is nothing too crazy, but it starts getting more difficult after this third turn here. You have this uphill where you can possibly fly off. You definitely want to keep ground contact. Everybody is making it. Now the slide here to the left, very tricky with the um, with the uh, free wheel. And now you want to keep the gear afterwards. Very important. Pack is getting it. Otherwise, you lose a lot of speed. And now Pack already like point three ahead of Massa, so looking very good for him. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, it's not looking good for him anymore. Still in third place though. And Massa and Scrappy currently battling in the lead. Who will get it? You can see the identity here. Who's getting it? It is Massa. Massa with more speed pack, luckily still getting third after that small mistake. So uh, yeah, but we saw the the pack definitely has the pace. He is fast here, so hopefully we can see him winning the next round. Yeah, I mean, it is uh, third and fourth getting the 10 and 6 points. So now the player field is in between 22 points of each other. And look at that. For the second place, 71, 70 and 68 points. But we see already the first mistake in this round. It seems that Scrappy went for a different line. And now, of course, he has not the best amount of speed. So he also got a gear down there and cannot judge that line. So he had to respawn. So Scrappy fully out on this round. But... Um, yeah, I mean, I was also talking about that uh, gear uh, on this freewheel part, which is the second hardest part on this track, mm. of course, um, ex or including the identity. Uh, really, really important to nail that. But yeah, nice Cassius curse as well there <laughs> that you put there, really, um, yeah, making it look like that I cast, you know, because I'm also a very, very good Cassius cursor. But um, let's just take a look onto this round. It's Peg leading um, together Ooh. with Massa, but Massa with a bad line there, risking it so much and um, eventually uh, touching the wall. So Peg can elevate himself up to 100 point and ex points and extend his lead again. But there is still Kappa who's going for a very no. close line and Peg actually gets stuck to the wall. So another... Oh, oh man, another mistake from Peck just before or in this identity in the last part of it. And also not the best round here, 108.5 as the winning time, but still the fastest set match can. Then we have Massa, one second behind. Peck still gets third and Scrappy after the respawn in fourth. So everyone seems to struggle on this map, Granati. Yeah, apparently. And also Peck failing the identity for this, or failing close to the identity the second time already. So uh, maybe not too good because now in the upcoming rounds, he will be even more nervous at that section. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Actually, we see a different line here in the start by Scrappy and Pack. They're going for the no slide in the first 90 degree dirt corner to have a bit more exit speed. 
it's a brand new line, which <laughs> I also just heard that on the official cast like one hour ago, which uh, can save up to point two apparently. So very interesting that Pack and Scrappy are only going for it. But yeah, um, let's hope Pack will finally survive this round because he definitely has the pace. Um, in the previous two rounds, he was first when we approached the identity. So he, in theory, is the fastest, but he needs to survive the identity, of course. So let's hope if uh, let's hope that he can do it this round. Uh, the round itself, very close here. Nobody made a mistake so far. They are only point one apart from each other. Kappa not having the best speed, but now the important slide with the gear at the ending. Who will get it the best? Pack getting it well. Kappa getting it not too well. No, never mind. He only is. <laughs> he still is here. Same with Massa. Never mind, dude, I'm actually stupid. <laughs> Massa crashed. So let's go into the identity here. What will happen? Pack surviving the first one this time, apparently. Having more speed than Scrappy. Who will make it? The last one is gonna decide who's gonna hit the finish the fastest. It is Pack. Very important win here for Pack. He finally managed to survive and he shows that he can win. Furthermore, absolutely sick time here. Only 0.4 behind the current world record and only 0.3 behind Pack, his PB. So very good pace here, but also Scrappy really close. So. Seems like players are slowly are warmed up on this map. So maybe the last yeah, round I that we're going to see is going to be very close again. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but maybe you jinxed it now. We don't know, <laughs> but of course, that was the fastest time that we have seen. And also the fastest round, it was Kappa risking it there and Massa making a mistake on that um, uh, yeah, second identity in my eyes, the free will part where you want to hold the gear. Massa has clipped the wall there and didn't get it too well. So he finds himself on... Um, Third position at the moment, and bear in mind only the top two are going to the final. Right now it's looking really good for Pack, who is 20 points out of Kappa, who had a great comeback and has accumulated a lot of points in the last couple of rounds. And um, yeah, it's four points out of Massa. And then we have Scrappy on last with 77 points. But it's nothing decided here for the second place thus far. It is uh, Pack currently leading this round, but of course very important rounds here on uh, the fourth map on Paradise. And then we have the last map Ooh. coming up afterwards. Kappa and Scrappy both with a mistake and also Pack with a small mistake there, but was able to save it. It is small because both other players have crashed in free wheel, so they lose a tremendous amount of time and Pack can just cruise it into the ending. But he actually makes that mistake. Can he stick out here? Yes, he can, but he goes for the respawn, so he falls down to P4, and that was unnecessary, but of course, in matter of events, you don't know. Also, Massa filling the ending, so the opposite of this round that we were um, yeah, forecasting. Yeah. Massa winning the round, though, Scrappy two, almost two seconds behind, getting second, Kappa on third, three seconds behind, and Pack after that respawn, and the mistake only with three points. Yeah, I think Pack definitely is happy that this map is over now. He only got one clean round out of four. So not the best map for him apparently, although it was his map pick. So, but yeah, that's how things can be. And uh, yeah, now we go into the fourth map, fourth or fifth? Fifth map. Okay, we go into the <laughs> last map already. Before we, uh, yeah, get back to map one, and this map is gonna be Picycle. Um, yeah, Picycle, uh, rather easy map. The rounds here are most likely gonna be close. Still, there are a few parts where people will probably choke here and there, but overall, uh, quite easy map also because the identity is uh, quite easy. There, like, th this is one of the identities where you cannot really catch up to your opponents. If you're like point three behind the identity, it's very unlikely that you're gonna catch up because everybody is doing the same strat and it always is equally fast. So, uh, yeah, on this map, actually, the first half of the map is very important, and afterwards, there is not a you don't have a lot of opportunities to catch up. So let's see how Pack will uh, do on this track, because we now go into the first round already. So yeah, I'm just. Hmm? Yeah, you just go ahead. Just go ahead. I just <laughs> okay. want to say something, but I'm going to do it the next round. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. So uh, first round starting here. Um, start quite easy. Just a few no side turns. Now a kind of blind jump, but everybody is of course getting it because they practiced it a lot. They drove it one thousand of times. <laughs> so everybody is getting it. Now this section here quite tricky. You wanna land in a slide and now. Don't hit the tree, of course. Um, everybody getting it well. Pack a bit behind. Now the exit speed here is quite important. Pack getting it really well. Overtaking literally everyone. Now wow. another dirt part coming up. Uh, boah, Pack going really close to the wall. Good entry here. Also here the exit speed is gonna matter. You wanna uh, go very close to the left here. Pack not getting it too well. You see uh, the others have a bit more exit speed. And now the glorious jump where you don't wanna hit the tree. Nobody is doing it. Massa almost hitting the checkpoint. Really close round so far. Only scrappy a bit behind. And after that, we're already getting closer to... Oh, Pack with a weird line here, not having good speed. Has to lift off quite a bit. And now we go into the identity. We have this beautiful camera over here. And, uh, just yeah. changed it. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically only do two 180s on the ice and then go. 
And yeah, there's not a lot. Oh, Peck is actually having good speed, but it is not enough. So the entry into the grass before the identity sadly cost him the victory because he lost like 0.2 with that. And uh, yeah, a third place for Peck in the first round. Yeah, but uh, as forecasted, very, very close round. But Peck still with a good amount of points. Four points uh, elevating him up himself up to 111 points. Then Massa is uh, closing in to Kappa after a good performance here. But uh, yeah, this map is really, really uh, yeah, difficult because it's so easy. There are some <laughs> blind jumps, especially this one, and then also the jump with the tree where Massa almost hit the CP. So that's that's almost impossible hitting the CP, but they can see how prepared Massa is on this map. And the identity, you can only really... Yeah, how you can say that? You can only um, choose if you want to have a yeah, like less amount of speed and then just travel less distance or more amount of speed and travel more distance. That's the only thing that you want to figure out on this map. Um, and we have seen that in the past, but it's only like saving 0.2 of a second. So even if you do it bad, um, you will still get some time. Masa jumping <laughs> over the tree there. What is he doing there? Masa with a sick line going to that third position, but that was absolutely crazy. I don't want to know what is happening no. in Trilux chat right now, but let's take a look here. Who's going to win this round? Will Masa redeem himself here? Scrappy with a good amount of speed. Masa actually going to the lead, but Ooh. Scrappy's coming closer. Masa with a, um, with a crash, but who is getting first? Pack no. or Scrappy? Scrappy with a good amount of speed. Who's going to get it? It's Pack oh, staying in first here, God. but only by two hundredths of a second. And a 109.82. What a what, time. What a Kappa time. Kappa has WR here with a 0.59. So that is 0.23 away. But man, what a risk from Massa. Holy, what a round. And Massa was like quite a bit ahead of the others. So he would have, he was on an insane time. Also to jump over the tree, like holy moly. Yeah. That was absolutely insane. But Peck is winning the round and it is very important for him. He's now up to 121 points. And he only needs 19 more points to enter the finals mode. So, uh... With winning this round, he could already close it out on... Yeah, he could already get finalist on this track, actually. If he wins the two next rounds, so let's hope he will do it. Start is looking good, but everybody else having it equal, so nothing is decided yet. Uh, good slide here by Peck, having good speed, so does Kappa. The others falling a bit behind, but not too much. We see different entries here into the dirt. Kappa getting it the best, actually. Peck falling a bit behind, but he is still close. Now the glorious jump, let's see, let's actually go on Massa. I want to see what he's <laughs> doing here. <laughs> is he gonna go for the tree jump again? Is he gonna jump over it? No, but he's almost hitting check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone flipped out. This was Scrappy. Scrappy is out of this round, but the top three here is absolutely close to each other. Everybody could still take it. We see it. It's gonna depend on... Everybody is so... Dude, what is this? Okay, who is gonna get the best identity? We're gonna see it. Pack currently in the lead. So let's see, the last 180 is gonna decide it all. Is Peck gonna carry it through? It looks like he will, he is having more speed. Who gets second place? It is Kappa. <laughs> so yeah, another very good time here by Peck, only 0.4 behind the current world record. And he is getting to the 131 points and potentially he could get finals mode in the next round. Yeah, and uh, if not, he should really claim a second position that he can just get finest on the next map in the first round, regardless his position, so he just has to finish. But of course, very important round now for Pack to win. Um, 131 point point is 140, as we were stating out beforehand as well. So if Pack wins it, he's win one more round in order to qualify himself for the grand final. The top two is going through, the bottom two is eliminated of this competition. Let's follow Pack here in the last round and see if he can make it. Not the best start though, Goes for a different line and has a good amount of speed. So Kappa and Scrappy getting attacked by Peck. And also this was uh, Scrappy getting a weird landing. I think he clipped the border. Yes. Uh, it is not um, a different Trackmania game where you can get landing bugs. So I doubt that this was happening. But maybe we have some information about that somewhere. If something um, weird has happened there. But Peck also not with a good line there. Um, losing the ground contact. And with that he falls tremendously behind. So let's focus on the fight for first position. Massa versus Kappa here. Who is going to get it? B.I.G. or Berlin, Berlin International Gaming versus McLellan. Sherrod Shadow here. Who will get it? Kappa with a good amount of speed there. Overtaking Massa, coming a bit closer. Who's getting it the best? Massa with more speed. Can Massa snipe it in the ending? No, it's not enough. And Kappa will take the last 10-pointer on Picycle. So very, very good round from both players. Both times, yeah, almost under 110 here. Massa with a 110.001. And Kappa with a 109.91. So good time. And with that, also Kappa extends his lead towards Massa. To nine points, 118 versus 109 points. So looking promising for Kappa thus far. 
Exactly, and we're now going back to the first uh, map again, which was Zigton, never mind. Okay, <laughs> then we're gonna see map number... Yeah, apparently it's... Uh, Five, six, then, yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Good to know. So, uh, no new map, apparently. Uh, no, no, rep no repetition. We actually play a new map. It is Sammy Ramos. And Pack is currently looking good. He is at 135 points now, which means he only needs uh, five more points for finals mode. But this means that he at least needs to get second in the next round in order to get there. So that definitely should be the goal for him. So uh, yeah, we're gonna see. This map here is one of the more difficult ones if you ask me, because a lot of sections, uh, if you risk them, you are getting very close to the walls. So uh, we will probably see a few touches and crashes here and there. So let's just hope Pack is not gonna be one of them. So now let's go into the first round on Sammy Ramos. Maybe I can explain a bit about the map again. So yeah, start here is quite easy. We have the entry into the dirt. Now the jump into the checkpoint, quite tricky. You already want to angle your car towards the left in order to have a good line here. Now the entry into the grass where you can get a gear down. So you, can, you see that people are straightening out their car in order to not get it. Everybody is getting it in this round. Now uphill left, don't hit the signs here on the right obviously. Now one of the sections that is getting very close here with the wall and also to jump into this slide here. If you risk it a lot, you're going super close to literally every wall. You can see Pack got it really well here. Now a small grass section into a black platform point where you jump out of into another slide. Very tricky as well. Also tricky with the gears if you don't have the optimal speed. But everybody is getting it. Now a small sausage transition into a jump. Now a slide to the left where you can also drop your gear. But Peck is getting it, going over the edge, which can op which can theoretically give you a penalty, but Peck didn't get it here. And now the identity. You have three jumps here where you want to land very smoothly. Peck is getting, doing them really well. He's landing super smooth, but Scrappy as well. Scrappy will not get it with this line. Mark my words. Don't mark them. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought Pack is gonna have more speed, but it doesn't matter because Pack got second and as I said, he only needs second place to get finalists. So Pack is the first finalist of this match. Exactly, but also Scrappy with very important 10 points here to come closer to Massa and uh, also to Kappa up to 108 points. So only 13 points between second, third and fourth, but we have the first finalist in the match and Pack has at least two finalist attempts alone. Okay, so we didn't mark Granadi's words there. Um, I'm sorry for that, but let's take a look here. Pack with a, not the best ending by the looks of it. Scrappy has it the best, but of course on Sammy Ramis it can get really hard. Uh, just judging your release timing and also the speed and the angle. There are so many things that can go wrong here. Also this part here, this left hand, where you want to, yeah, like tree slide or like slide there. You can do that, but you can also go for a full speed line where you have to opt for a very, very... Yeah, like, Whoa. risky line, but someone already made a mistake. It wasn't Scrappy. Kappa, it wasn't Massa, it was Scrappy. And Pax still has that red oh. name, also Kappa with a mistake. <laughs> so Massa is the only player who can deny Pack here. So this is already looking really good that Pack is closing it out in the first finals attempt. Yet again, will the m, &M player redeem himself? Massa is coming dangerously close. So look at the speed yeah. from the Berlin International Gaming player. Goes for a good <gasps> line though, but Pack had better angle here. <laughs> Goes into the lead here. What a risky line from Pack. <laughs> no! Oh my God, clips him, no! but bombs into the wall and Pack is dead in his first final attempt. And Massa denies him and goes up to 123 points himself. Kappa in second, and then we have Scrappy eventually getting himself that last position because Pack is denying some points. But that was a very risky line there from uh, Pack indeed. Yeah, that risk was absolutely insane. He was jumping so close. Uh, it's incredible that he didn't even clip the two jumps before. Like, holy moly, he was going full in it. But apparently, or uh, sadly, it was not enough in the ending. But he still has a few more, uh, yeah, three finals round, as we call. Basically, a free finalist round is when only one player is finalist and others aren't, so he doesn't need to focus on denying others. So yeah, Pack still has this good situation at the moment, and uh, yeah, in the previous round we saw there can definitely be quite a few mistakes here. Two people died completely, so let's see how it will go in this round. The start was looking well, Scrappy got a small gear down, but nothing too crazy. And Pack again with the best start here. Let's see, now they jump into this slide here. Everybody going super close to the wall. Scrappy has to release a bit. But he's still uh, on the other players' tails. So now Pack with the slide to the right. Everybody getting it well. Pack, uh, Massa currently the closest one to Pack once again. It is pretty much the same as in previous round. Massa point one behind. So let's see. It's gonna come down to the identity again. Scrappy in the meantime quite a bit behind. So... Oh, boy. 
<laughs> Commentary on the identity is like boah boah boah. <laughs> and Peck getting it really well. Master jumping very far to the left. But does Peck has more speed? Where's Peck? Peck has more speed and Peck will be in the grand final. G G. What a race by him. GG. So Peck is in the grand final. In his second finals attempt, he has closed it out. So really um, dominating this match, kind of. He was a bit wonky at the start, but then he redeemed himself. So Pack already in the grand final. Congratulations. That is great. But we still played out for P number two. It will be between Scrappy, Massa, and Kappa, but only one of them can go through. Kappa can already advance to the finest mode if he wins this round. And it is Massa who's not just quite there yet. He's at 129 points, but of course he wants to deny Kappa the finest mode. Okay, interesting line. There are also different wiggles there from the player. Scrappy went for a little bit of a later wiggle by the looks of it and has uh, the best amount of speed. So Scrappy also won 14 points. He can make it. And that was the slide I was talking about. Kappa with a way more inside line. So we had to pick the angle by just tapping the uh, break uh, for a split second. So Kappa a little bit further behind because he also didn't get the best speed over this part. Was drifting a bit too much. But now it is Massa versus Scrappy. Very important. 10 points for both of the players. Of course, Massa is just not quite there yet if he wins this round. But Scrappy can go up to 124 points. Can good look for the Lazarus play. Was falling a bit behind. But good identity. But late release there from Scrappy. So lost a little bit of time. Massa goes into the lead here. Great identity. But Scrappy with more speed here. Whoa. Neck and neck between the players. Massa with the outside line. Scrappy with a bit more speed. And Scrappy has it though. Scrappy wins this round. But definitely a great round there we're seeing here a 110.57 that is a good time on Sammy Ramis and that was also the last round on this track and the WR actually is a 0.13 from Massa so good times and no one is finalist just yet yeah uh, still like we still have one more slot for the grand final and everybody of these three players could still take it Scrappy now with the victory getting closer to the other two so the field is getting closer and closer and people are getting closer to the finals mode so it's absolutely insane Massa and Kappa currently at 135 points uh yeah points <laughs> so they only need five more points in order to enter finals mode Scrappy a bit behind with 124 but also Scrappy still has the chance to win so this is most likely gonna be the last map for today it's gonna be zigzag the first one that we already saw so yep. let's see what's gonna happen here yeah, really interested to see. I mean, all players were really even here. If you remember, we had three yeah. rounds played and everyone was in between each other. Maybe Kappa was a bit weaker here. But of course, we don't know because players have to cope with the pressure. 135 points for both Kappa and Massa. And then Scrappy 124, as you said. So that means that this is the last map. Good luck to the players. Take it over, Kanadi. All right. WR here, quick reminder, is a 117.15. Currently held by Massa, actually. So... He can definitely be fast here, so let's see if he can uh, show what he can do here. First of all, the jump to the right here, quite tricky already, but everybody getting it super well. Now the entry into the dirt, Kappa will opt for the different line again. Will it pay off in the ending? Scrappy touching, Scrappy is most likely out of this round. And if Massa and Kappa both save it through and Scrappy won't catch up, we will have two finalists already. So let's see who's gonna win, it doesn't really matter though in this case. So as long as they are, as long as they stay top two, the round is already basically set in stone, and we will have a two finalist uh, situation in the next round already. But this mistake for Scrappy definitely is very painful because if he gets last, he will only be at 120 28 points at the end of this round. He is touching again, so he definitely is out. And if Scrappy still wants to have a chance, he needs to win, I think, three rounds in a row now. So looking very dark for him. So most likely, it's going to be decided between Massa and Kappa. They are actually battling with each other, but it doesn't really matter in the end. But of course, for the like for the ego, it is still an important round, of course. And it seems like Massa is most likely gonna take it. Kappa is quite a bit behind. And yes, exactly. Massa will take the round. As I said, doesn't matter. We will have two finalists for the next round and possibly already the last round of the match. Yeah, so good luck to both Massa and Kappa. It will be Germany versus the Czech Republic. Scrappy needs to win two rounds in a row now because if he makes a mistake, this will be the last round. So good luck to both players and also good luck to Scrappy. I'm going to follow him because he has to deny them twice in a row and then he has to win three rounds in a row. 128 points is, of course, not the best spot you want to be in if he was 
at like 130 plus, it would have been better. But of course, you cannot choose your points if both when both players are finalists. Right now, Scrappy is leading the round, looking really good for the Lazarus player. Also, a good line over this uh, over the ice. Maybe he has steered a little bit too much there by the looks of it. And yes, he has done that. So he lost a tremendous amount of speed. So Massa and Kappa, both of the finalists. You can see the names are red or in the lead right now. It's Massa who is having the upper hand, but Kappa comes back with a great line over the ice section, has more speed, into the lead he goes, and it is him leading the round. So the last part before the identity is coming up, this tricky dirt turn where you want to hold your gear and then, um, of course, accumulate as much speed as possible. Yeah, that's very important. Different approaches. Kappa jumping so far to the left. And it's Massa with more speed, but different picture in this part here. So Kappa has more speed. It will be all in the ending. Super close between Kappa and Massa, who will go into the Whoa. final. The company, Afi, Cal Jr. and Pack. Will it be Kappa or Massa? Massa huh? with the outside approach. Will he get it? Kappa not with the best amount of speed, but Kappa will take it. And Kappa oh is through. God. Massa is not making it. And Kappa with a one 17.36 is redeeming his ticket into the grand final. And there we have it. Pack Kappa are through and accompanying Carl Jr. and Afi in the grand final. The both Dennis's are out. Scrappy and Carl Jr. Uh, Jr. I'm saying. Scrappy and Massa are eliminated. Oi, oi, wow. oi. What if round. What a time by Kappa as well. He did a point. What was it? 37, 36? Something like that. Definitely like only point two behind the current world record. I think Kappa actually PB'd <laughs> because his PB currently was a point thirty eight and I think he did like point thirty six. So best time to do his PB, I guess. Absolutely insane effort by him. And oh. now Kappa is in the final.